Well, hello everybody. Today we're working on a Kenwood TS2000. Um, I was going to get into the service menu. <laughs> it don't have one on board. You got to download a service menu firmware, flash it, do your adjustments. Then you're supposed to load your user firmware and then you test it. It sounds like a lot of risky business to me. So you know what? Wherever there's firmware involved, that fir that software is manipulating hardware. So all you need to do is find the point of interest that, you know, on the hardware that the software is controlling. And on this radio's problem, everywhere as you look online, they don't come up to power. On sideband... You could scream in this thing and it'd do maybe about 55, 60 watts. It would show PEP of 100, but it wouldn't talk up to 100. You understand what I'm saying? So a PEP meter, if somebody doesn't know any better and is looking at a PEP meter, would see that, yeah, okay, great, it's, it's showing that it's doing peaks of 100, but it's not. Okay. Don't go by PEP. You go by your average. Well, I found the ALC line for the HF. Now, sideband is lacking on um, UHF and VHF as well. So, we're going to attack that next. But, I didn't have the proper resistor to do this, so don't laugh when you see what I got there. I got two parallel resistors to do the job. Uh, just experimenting around to find out what worked. Okay, now you want to see what I did. Well, let's first show you what it looks like on the meter. Alright, there we're just talking right along and not yelling. Hello, radio. One, two, three. As you see, she's doing about 150 watts. The LDG is going to confirm that. Hello. One, two, three, four. Audio. Okay. Now, for anybody that wants to do the ALC on a TS2000 to get full power out of the radio like you're supposed to, and by the way, you can still turn the power down if you don't like that much power. I've got her maxed out because that's how you, you know, you manipulate the AGC on full maxed out balls to the wall power. Once you get it set, then you drop your power levels to safer zones. Okay, you want to see what we did? Here we go. This little trick right here is, this little line is the HF ALC. Okay, I'm hoping it's as easy back here for the VHF, but I'll have to find out and do some more looking to find out where the VHF's ALC, VHF and UHF are. But they're going to be about the same thing and it'll probably be the same exact, you know, value. Um, if you don't get this value right of resistors, well, you lose meter because it's sampling the RF off of there. And what it's doing is it reports it back to the, the CPU, you know, and calculates your modulation versus your power and then sets the, you know, swings the ALC accordingly. The way I've got this right now, there is no ALC meter movement, but we do have, we do have full RF swing. It's just a shy on the 100. You know, maybe if you play with the values of those resistors, you'll be able to get this meter to come up to 100. I was trying to find a value that would give me like one or two <clears throat> um, blocks on the ALC. 
but I just don't have the proper resistors to do it. <clears throat> but uh, this is just in testing. Now I've been sitting here pounding on this thing for probably about an hour and a half after doing this resistor mod. And this chassis runs nice and cool. She's not drawing an excessive amount of current. So don't go, oh, you can blow your radio up, blah, 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 and all that other crap. I don't want to hear it. As I said, this modification right here is for the people that, well, either can't get their computer or their radio to connect to the computer, or if they're just too leery of it and just don't want a chance bricking it. This is your best bet. That is your HF ALC line. This is not the way it's going to stay. You know, I'm just temporarily got it set up like that, doing my testing. But uh, anybody else out there in the groups want to uh, make, you know, improve on this, please do so. Um, give me the exact values of resistors you come up with. What you want to find on this meter is you would like it to swing to a full hundred. See how it's just a shy of a hundred? Okay, and you want at least two blocks of ALC with processor on and um, wait a minute here, hold on. Might gain at 100%. Basically, you're going to drive the living piss out of the radio. And you want to see this meter go up to a full 100. And you want to see ALC at least two blocks. If you go any more, she'll start to pull back the power. So, experiment around. See what you come up with. But I'll tell you what. This is right here is a lot safer than screwing around with firmwares and possibly bricking your radio all right everybody out there have a fine one take care this is kd2 gdx we'll catch you in facebook